All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get zero input delay in Lower Ping in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 5, I think it is. Now, there's only four days left of this season, so I'm making this a bit late. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to lower your input delay and uh, just make your game feel a lot smoother. And you're going to have to download one thing. I'm going to show you guys some Fortnite settings quick. Uh, so if you want to do this, just make sure your uh, Fortnite game is... So these are what my settings look like. Obviously, I'm on uh, performance mode. So yeah, if you do want the best performance possible, make sure you're on performance mode and just kind of copy my settings. You can turn your textures on low if you want. I just have mine on high so it looks better because I don't really struggle with FPS. So do that. Turn these all on low if you're really struggling, like I said. Next over here in game settings, go down to your replays and just turn all of these off. And that should help you with uh, input as well. So that's pretty much all I have to show you guys in Fortnite. I'm going to show you guys a third party app, which you can just have open in the background. It's completely free. It's not a virus or anything. So close it to Fortnite. All right, so the app is called Time Resolution. You've probably heard about it before. Uh, a lot of pros use it and stuff to help with input delay. And like I said, it's free. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this uh, download link where you could just shut up timeresolution.com. Click on that link and click on here, download it. Should look pretty similar to mine. If not, you could figure it out. Just click home and all that stuff. Yeah, click download. And as you can see, it doesn't say uh, Windows 11 here, but I'm on Windows 11 it does work for me. Either they haven't updated it or I'm not too sure because it does work for me, so you should be good. So just click download and just save wherever you want. I'm going to save it in my B drive, which is where all my games are downloaded. So you can do that. I'm not going to download it again because I already have it. So click the download. It's a pretty easy uh, setup. I don't even think there is one and just open it up when you're done. So yeah, this is what it should look like. Uh, and all you have to do to lower your ping, click maximum. And all you have to do is just minimize it. And that's all you have to do. It should just stay open in the background while you're playing a game. You can even do it while your PC is just running anything. It won't harm it or anything. But yeah, if you don't want to close it, just click default and close. So yeah, just make sure every time you load up a game or your PC, just have this open in the background and you will notice a big difference in ping and just overall responsiveness. That's pretty much all I have to show you in this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe.